Hey, hello everyone out there in YouTube land. This is Saida, the Domestic Handmaiden of Distinction, coming back again as always to you live and direct. I hope and pray that all is well with you. Hope you're having a great day. So I am supposed to be cooking. I just started um, my dinner, but I watched something, a video while I was um, uh, preparing. And so if you want to know what I'm making, I'm just making, um, what do you call it, turkey, um, um, breakfast sausage, something like a Jimmy Dean's, but in Turkey. Uh, and of course I added my extra sage and peppers, uh, pepper flakes in it. Um, so we're having scrambled eggs with uh, queso cheese, as well as Kobe Jack, um, avocado, banana, toast, um, what else? And um, I guess a pineapple, pineapple ginger smoothie and some other stuff like that. Uh, so I was getting ready to do that, but I saw um, something pop up in my feed from a young lady. I'll probably, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll mention uh, the information. So anyway, you saw from the video, uh, from the title, um, depending on what the title would be. And forgive the uh, situation because I didn't want that, the lighting was too weird. Um, so, but um, so she asked, uh, or her video was concerning, should Christians celebrate, um, and please forgive our background because there any noise in the background because this is a common home, so people are going to be walking, talking, and all kinds of stuff will be going on. Anyway, so, uh, so she asked the question, do we think that um, Christians should celebrate Halloween? And she went into a lot of the history about Halloween and things of that nature, how it came about and stuff like that, which a lot of us know um, and things like that. And then she discussed how um, a lot of people um, about death, it's, it, how about Halloween is all about death and goriness and things like that. Um, so, but the way I feel about this situation is do I feel that Christians should celebrate holidays? I do not think that Christians should celebrate, followers of Jesus Christ and or Christians should celebrate um, Halloween, Christmas, or any other holiday because what I, uh, but what's important to me, what's most important to me um, is that they know Christ Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Celebrating those things are not a sin. They may cause a person to sin, but celebrating those are not a sin. So, I mean, even Paul said these things are, are I, I can do all of those things, but is it expedient for me? So I, because I used to feel the same way, like, oh, people, what are, you, what are they doing? They call themselves Christians and they're doing this, that, and the other. And even on YouTube right now, I've just met a few people, you know, recently who all say they're Christians, but they all celebrate Halloween. They're all doing it right now, making witch stuff, goblins, and doing all sorts of things. But that, we got to be careful. We have to be careful and choose what's important. Jesus said if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. So it's not, I, I'm not going to lift up Halloween or I'm not going to even discuss it, you know, more or less, or Chris, Christmas or any other holiday because it's more important to me that you know Jesus Christ. That's what this channel is about. That's what my life is about. Let me not just say, that's what my life is about. Pointing people to Jesus and knowing that of an assurity, which is not a real word, <laughs> but of an assurance. Well, let me use assurity because I like it. Um, but of an assurity that you know Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You're following him, obeying him, and you love him. That's what's important to me. It's not important that you celebrate Halloween. Do you? <laughs> because all of these things come by what? Revelation. It comes by revelation. Eyes being open that we, dis we, 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 do, we begin to do something or we cease doing something. Okay? I I've been through it all. You know, and I'm not even finished living yet. Hardly. I have only a smidgen that I've even done in my life as far as I'm concerned, especially since I left the man-made uh, 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 brick and mortar church, okay? So I, I don't judge people on that. Um, I don't caution people against it. They ask me personally, I will tell them, no, I do not believe that Christians should celebrate um, 
uh, Halloween or Christmas or Thanksgiving or Easter or St. Patrick's Day or any anything. I don't because I don't have time for it. I don't have time for it. But but Jesus. But but, but the Bible the Bible tells us what does light have to do with darkness? These things are dark and they have dark um, a dark history. They don't have a, they don't have a, their foundation was not built on Christ Jesus. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that's one of the reasons why I don't. But of course, I have in my past. We have, our family has celebrated different things, you know, um, uh, not Halloween, not especially not as a Christian. But, um, but again, there's no judgment. So don't go there with me. So, but it's more important that you know Christ oh, Jesus, yeah. okay? And do you know where you're going to spend eternity? Is your land is your name in the Lamb's Book of Life? You know, and I'm going to comment on her page, uh, her video as well. But it, it, that's not it's not important to me. Yeah. Mm -mm. You got to choose your battles and fight them properly. And the battle is not even mine it's the lord so we have to be led by our commander in chief on what's right and what's wrong because we will say something is wrong and and god could say it's right or he's using that as a means to something else to another end so we have to be careful saying this not right that's not right and all of that that's not even important lift up jesus that's what's right jesus is what's right Okay? His blood is what's right. His death, burial, and resurrection is what's right. His ministry is what's right. Him going out, teaching us about, telling us to go out and, 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 and beyond and, and heal the sick and raise the dead and feed those that are hungry. Okay? Clothe the naked. What about those that are sick? What about those that are in prison? Have you visited them? You know, as you keep on celebrating, doing Halloween and all the other things you want to do. But, excuse me. <sighs> excuse me. <laughs> but, but I do. But do you love God? Because that. What are, what are the commandments? What are the new commandments that Jesus gave unto us? To love our neighbor as ourselves. Okay, first of all, we got to love God, okay? We love him with all of our heart, mind, soul, and being, okay? Then we love our neighbor as ourselves. And I know you've heard me say it before, but who is our neighbor? Your neighbor is not just the person that's across the street from you, that lives behind you, that lives to the left or the right of you. But your neighbor is anybody. Look at the Good Samaritan. Look how all of the Levites and the priests and whomever else walk past the poor a uh, man that was dying in the street, okay? But the good Samaritan did not cross over to the, to the other side of the street. He went to the person, uh, put wine and, and, and bandaged them up and cleaned them all up and then put them in a hotel, okay? Put them in a hotel, put, paid as much money as he could and went on about his business, And but it would let them know I'm coming back. And then came back, still came back. That's what neighbor, that's neighbor, that's neighbor, okay? We got to get this thing right. We have messed up Jesus' name, you know, putting all this church, church, and religion nonsense in it, okay? We've messed up Jesus' name. We got to get this right, y'all. We got to get this right because... We only get one opportunity. Once we dead, it's it's over. It's a done deal. There's no more negotiation. Okay? There's no more negotiation for us. So I hope you hear me. What I was going to say about the death, because she was saying about death. There's so much death and Halloween and goriness and stuff like that. But death is real. We all People die all day, every day. Okay, they die all day, every day. But where are they going when they die? Okay, and two, we should be dying daily to ourselves. This flesh, this 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 enemy of our of God, because this is an enemy of God. This will tell us to do one thing when God is telling us to do another thing. And who do we listen to? Who are you gonna listen to? Who you who are you gonna obey? 
You're going to obey God or you're going to obey this flesh. This wicked flesh that we got to be beating every day. We got to be beating it. We got to keep it under control. We got to be disciplined. Okay? And so many things. I'm becoming more about these things because in, in food, we got to be disciplined. and exercise and how we live, we got to be more disciplined. And that's what I, how we live in, around here modestly as much as possible. Not spending too much time, efforts, and, and talents and energy on nonsense, but trying to make sure that we're being led by the Spirit to do the right thing. Because I don't know how long I have on this earth. But as long as I have on this earth, I want to be sure that the last thing that I do is something that's glorifying God and that's pleasing to Him. Because I want Him to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. You have done well. I don't want Him to tell me, depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I knew you not. I need Him to know me. <laughs> I need to be known of God, okay? I don't, need, I don't care about if you don't know me or somebody does not know me. You know, I don't care. I'm not out here trying to win any popularity contest or anything like that. I don't care if people don't know my name. Do you know Jesus' name? That's what's important. Okay? I was just, you know, and I know you guys know how I go. If I open it up, it's going to go somewhere else. I just had a thought because there was somebody that um, requested or uh, asked us to, um, uh, a family member, asked us to, um, to, mm -hmm. Uh, take care of their last, you know, their last wishes of their burial and things like that. So I was, um, and, and sometimes I can be dense. I mean, I, you guys think I'm joking when I tell you I live under a rock and 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 that some things they don't pass by me because I'm it don't I don't care. I don't watch no reality shows. I don't listen to news. Like I'm not into all of that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, but. And so I'm, I'm kind of like, if you don't just point blank sometimes say certain things, don't try to, if you hint to me, uh, I might not get it. you got to come direct with me. That's just who I am. Sometimes I just don't get it. So I didn't get this, that this person has sent me a bunch of information about them. I didn't understand that they sent me like a lot of their degrees and what they did, like degree wise, uh, what they did in school and, you know, all of this, blah, blah, blah. I did not get that that is what's supposed to go on uh, for is regarding their burial because I was like saying to them, you got to do your own obituary. They were asking, saying that somebody I'm going to write. No, I'm not writing no, no obituary. I, I, I wouldn't, I'm not going to write an obituary for somebody. You write your own obituary. I mean, if, if that person is still alive and we're making, we're planning for that, then you have to do that yourself. I wouldn't dare write your obituary. And and what I definitely would not do is write your obituary and put a bunch of, this person did this and they went to this school, they matriculated here. They No, because that don't mean anything to me at this point, this, at the status that I am now, that kind of stuff don't mean anything to me. What I would like to know, even for my family, and I gave them, I haven't written out everything, everything, everything uh, detailed, but what I need people to know is, or do you know Jesus? I don't want people, people don't need to know what how, how, how many, what I've done in life and all of that, or, or you know, I, I should not be the one that should be glorified or anything like that. It should be the Jesus should be the one that's glorified, not me. Okay, so I didn't get it that they were sending me all of these, uh, all of this information because they wanted it to go on an obituary. It's like I'm not writing all of that kind of stuff uh, to about you. You if you want to do that, you write that yourself. I, I want to honor whatever your wishes are for your burial, but you have to be the one to write that. I'm not going to write some big, that's a resume, okay? I don't want to write a resume for you, but as far as an obituary is concerned, even my own, I, you know, my name could be there, My when I was born, when I died, and and, and stuff like that, but what was important is how I lived and did I live to the glory of God? That's what's important. Okay? 
I think that I might have done some fabulous things, but all that stuff, I really count it down now, just like Paul. I, I mean, I think that I, if you look at any of my uh, my my ministry, uh, ministerial, um, let me just say resume or whatever, history, I think I've done some fabulous things, but were they really fabulous? And were they to the glory of God? You know, and you know, so all that kind of stuff is, is really, is dung. It's really dung, though. You know, it's dung. It don't, it's not, it's, it's doo-doo, y'all. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, it, it really is. But, so, but to be honest, you know, do you know the Lord Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? That's what's important. Lord and Savior. That means a lot. Not not what we, you know, those of us who are still in organized religion, not that. Really know him. Really walk with him. Really trust and have faith that he's the one that is providing for us every day. He is the one that's leading and guiding us and telling us, go here, go there. You're going to meet with this person and I want you to tell them this. This person is hungry. I need you to go over there. All of, be, I'm telling you, my life is fabulous. Is fat. Do I have other things going? I have lots of things going on. Okay, if you know you have elements. I mean, you have a, a family. You have different things that go on. You have neighbors. You got different. But my life is most fabulous, and it's still not even near where I should really could be because I know that there's many other things that the Lord is. Because all the time something is new and fresh and like. I'm just amazed by something that God is saying to me and doing and how he has delivered me and opened my eyes to this, that, and the other. You know, just like the, these different Halloween, these different holiday thingies and stuff. I used to, I would be like, no, I don't think that people should be celebrating them and uh, involving themselves or participating in it and all of that kind of stuff, blah, 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 blah. But that's a waste of time for me to say that. Do you know Jesus? That's a good use of my time, beloved. You know, to let you know that I love you and that Jesus loves you, okay? And he died on the cross for your sins, for your healing, for you to live a real righteous life. And people say healing. Now, that might not be healing of your body, but it might be healing of something else, okay? It's so many things. I mean, it's just so many things, but this is a long video, <laughs> It to be this long and I got to get to the food because I got to cut up my pineapple and everything and finish doing my food but anyway I love you very much I pray in the name of Jesus that something was said that um that inspired you that encouraged you that motivated you to move forward in Christ Jesus um and uh you know don't worry about your past repent of your sins repent that's what is necessary to to know god to repent that means to turn away to change your mind to not go back that way again to go a new way okay and that way should be narrow beloved let all of this excessive things all these things that don't mean anything let it go you know and again those things come with revelation so I love you. Thank you so much for listening. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are not subscribed. Like this video. Share this video. Comment on this video. Okay? Thank you so much. Love you very, very much. Bye-bye <laughs> for now.